Happy Thanksgiving, guys. This is my turkey. This year I did it with a Tipsy Tom Brian kit. You get your water to a boil. Follow the instructions on the box. As soon as you dissolve all the ingredients, go ahead and add a couple of beers. I went with a Modelo and a, and a Flight on this one. And then you want to add another four quarts of water, well, uh, three quarts of water to the bowl. And then take it off and refrigerate it and get it nice and cold. The kit comes with its own rub, the Cockadoodle Brew, but I bought one. And I'm going to go ahead and just combine them into this shaker bottle. Okay. This is the brine bag. They're heavy duty brine bags, guys. And what I'm doing right here is I'm folding over the Ziploc part and I'm opening it so that it's easier for me to put the turkey in when it comes time to that. Here's my butterball turkeys. I'm doing two this year, one for Thursday, one for Friday. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean them up, remove all the stuff that I do not eat, and I am going to spatch cock these turkeys. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the backbones on both, uh, cut them down just a little bit with my nice little blade, and open them up. I'm not gonna push them on their chest. I'm just gonna open them from, from the backside until they crack and we're gonna butterfly open these guys. Okay, they're, they're spatchcocked. Then I'm gonna trim up the extra skin on both turkeys. And I'm gonna get my water hose and I'm just gonna hose these off. I'm gonna clean them up nice and good uh, just to get them nice and clean. I'm kind of have in the out in the driveway is where I'm at right here guys so I'm gonna go ahead and hose these turkeys clean them all off and uh, get them ready to stuff in the bags so they're currently in the bags and I'm gonna go ahead and pour the mix into each bag I'm gonna brine these turkeys and what you want to do is you want to try to push as much air out of the bag as possible okay and then I'm just gonna rinse the outside of the bag because uh, just to kind of clean them up a little bit they had a little bit of that uh, brine solution and stuff like that um, on the actual outside of the bags and in the brine bucket they go both of them okay I'm gonna go ahead and uh, seal my bucket and we've got two turkeys in here guys these are 15 pounders and then i'm going to go ahead and put my brine bucket in my cooler and i'm going to top my cooler off with four 10 pound bags of ice four bags and we're going to get the ice nice and flush in the cooler because they're gonna spend the night in this cooler tonight lose some of that ice just so that my cooler can close and they're just gonna hang out in my in my garage all night so here's my setup I decided to go ahead and do them in bullseye I love the way this thing cooks turkeys um, putting a splash pad well a splash pad a drip pan in there with some apple juice and I'm also gonna add some water to that apple juice and uh, put my grate back on there and I'm ready to cook so let's wheel this baby outside and I'm going to go ahead and uh, roll with some of those apple Bear Mountain pellets. It's a, it's a rainy day on Thanksgiving Day this Thursday. Let's rock this baby up to 400 degrees. Now, I took my turkey, one of the turkeys, out of the brine bag, and I rinsed it with the water hose. And now I'm just kind of blotting it dry the best I can with paper towels is what you're seeing right here. I'm going to go in with that Duke's Mayo. Just a light coat. Don't get crazy with it. Just a, just a light coat. If you guys are going to try the mayo binder, don't do a lot. Just just a light coat. And I'm going to go in with that uh, rub that I transferred into that shaker bottle. That Coco Doodle Brew. This stuff smells fantastic. Excellent flavor, you guys. I did one of these last year, and I'm, doing, I'm planning on doing my turkeys just like this every year. So let's go ahead and uh, flip this turkey and repeat the process on the top side. Light coat of mayo for the binder. And uh, 
you gotta get these little hidden crevices that like to hide on you. Then I go up to the wings. Then I jump down to the dark meat before uh, before I shake it on the delicious breast. Okay. So here we go. So the rectex up to temp at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and put my turkey in here and uh, place it in here, just like that. Position it right above that drip pan. Touch up a couple of spots. <laughs> and after we touch up a couple of spots, we're just gonna let it go. This, this shot right here is about 20 minutes after Okay, just wanted to double check and then I actually added water to the pan, but I did not catch that on film. But here we go, this is what it's looking like guys, it's a fantastic looking bird. Uh, the bullseye is doing a fantastic job, it does not take long. I love cooking these things spatchcock like this, that skin's getting nice and crispy. It is, trust me guys, it is getting nice and crispy. So we're gonna go ahead and check the temp. We're rocking at the 190s on the dark meat and uh, the 170s in the white meat. You know, 167 right here on that bottom side. And here's a few other views, different spots of the turkey. This turkey's done. It's time to pull it. And this is what it looks like, guys. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let it rest on this uh, cutting board. I do not tent it because you're gonna just kinda kill the crispiness of it if you do. Uh, just let it rest wide open like that before you cut into it. And there's another view. And this turkey came out absolutely fantastic, delicious, juicy, and crispy on the outside. We're gonna go ahead and throw that ham in there. We're rocking 225 for uh, two hours. And this is what it looks like after two hours, guys. I did not glaze it. I don't use the ATB glaze that it comes with. This is just straight up smoked and this is how we like to eat the ham fantastic ham guys um, and it's done at that point I put it on some foil wrapped it up I, I did wrap up the ham and let it rest and here it is plated up got my turkey my ham my potato salad well uh, mashed potatoes green beans happy Thanksgiving everybody I hope you guys liked it peace out catch you on the next one